Hello everyone and welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. If you are like me, you have been seeing the rising number of kidnappings and attempted kidnappings that are happening on a daily basis. From putting money on a car windshield hoping to get the person out of the car, to putting drugs on a napkin hoping that the person will touch the napkin and pass out, to putting a zip tie on a car door handle to let their accomplice know that the person driving this car is a target, to putting a penny in the door handle so that the door will not lock. These are some of the tricks that these wicked people are using. So this is my way of trying to save a life or two. There is a back market that is willing to pay thousands and millions of dollars for women, men, and children. They want your body parts, your organs, and your melanin. You know melanin is priceless. Melanin is black gold. So in this video, we are going to cover a few different ways that can maybe help keep you and your loved ones from being a victim. So let's talk about it. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Women, children, and men are being forcibly kidnapped while walking on the street. You shouldn't have to be restricted when you go out and it may seem unfair that you always have to be on the lookout. But for your own safety, try not to walk alone, especially in quiet areas. And at night, these are the days to be vigilant not only at night, but at all times. A Lyft driver tried to kidnap this lady. It is true that most kidnapping crimes occur at night, but there is also a growing number of cases that happen in broad daylight. So it is very, very important that we should always be vigilant at all times. This 11-year-old girl fights off her attempted kidnapper as she waits for a school bus. When you drive or walk the same route, you will make it easy for suspecting abductors to gather information about you, and you make it easy for them to track you down when they are ready to strike. Don't be predictable when embarking on trips, don't take the same roads all the time. If possible, carpool sometime. Try to be unpredictable. Take alternative routes, use a different car, get a ride with a friend instead. This could throw off any kidnappers on your tail. You have to change up your route, find other streets or highways you can use when driving from home to work and back. Always be aware of your surroundings. People are often distracted by their phones or other little things when walking. Wearing headphones is just not smart. You want to make sure that you're aware of what's going on around you. You want to make sure that you can hear and spot when something is off. If you notice a person, a car, and especially a van following you, alert someone you trust immediately. Go into the nearest building and wait for the person, car, or van to leave. Alert someone in the building that you're being followed or call someone to pick you up, if you can. You should always tell someone you know that you are going out and what time they can expect you to arrive at your destination. It's good to let someone know where you're going. If you must meet a new acquaintance, make sure someone knows where you're going and who you're meeting. Leave a message with a family member or friend where you're headed and if possible, give the name of the person you're about to meet and other details you might know. This lady went missing for two years after meeting a man she met online. Be aware of your environment. One of the major ways to avoid kidnapping is to be thoroughly vigilant, which means you live in your house like an investigator. This entails being aware of everything happening around you and your family at all times. Being vigilant keeps you alert when others are not. Check your windows and doors every day to make sure that they are intact. Don't discuss your living situations with strangers. Never let them know who you live with or that you are home alone. This is to maintain safety as it has been reported that kidnappers sometimes gather information from those in your neighborhood. It is important to know your neighbors. Get to know that person living close to you. Find out if the person is living alone or not and the kind of job that person does for a living. Some people who are trafficked are approached by strangers offering them a job or some kind of opportunity like a modeling or singing career. Traffickers can approach you anywhere, on social media, at school, in the mall and even outside your house or work. Some traffickers might try to befriend you or form a relationship with you so that you trust them enough. And it is just not men, women can also be traffickers. Women are often used to lure victims because women seem more trusting than men. Traffickers usually prey on people who are in vulnerable situations. When it comes to people that you don't know, try not to share valuable information with them. Any stranger can be a kidnapper in disguise, so avoid any stranger that tries to move close to you unnecessarily. Another way to avoid being kidnapped is to check your lifestyle. If you have been living a flashy life with designer this and that, this is not a good time to do so, you should maintain a moderate lifestyle. Style. Try adorning not too expensive wares that announce you have money. Do not discuss money publicly. To avoid being a victim of kidnappers, another area you should check is receiving phone calls in public that involve discussing money, especially a huge sum. When you discuss such amounts of money in public, you send signals to kidnappers that you are rich and can be their victim. If you donate publicly, you are giving people an indication of your wealth. When you donate, do it discreetly. Always keep your phone handy. Keeping your phone with you at all times is very important as it can be a source of help when there is a threat of kidnap. 
Don't just keep your phone with you but make sure you have airtime, no matter how little so that it can be useful in times of danger. It is important to keep emergency numbers like contacts of police that you can quickly call whenever you sense you are being monitored by kidnappers or you notice anything strange in your environment. Never go anywhere without something to defend yourself, pepper spray, a knife, a gun, a taser or all four. Always have one of them in your hand and ready to use when you are walking from here to there. Be careful of people you've recently met who offer you things out of the blue. Also, be suspicious of strangers who approach you after you've posted something personal on your social media profile and they're suddenly offering you help, advice, money, a place to stay or a job opportunity. If you're getting random messages from people on social media, be careful with revealing data on social accounts. Be careful not to reveal too much about yourself or your family members on your accounts. No need to flaunt new cars, houses or jewelry. Never reveal addresses and be sure to turn off the GPS function on your smartphones. Don't post on social media the places you frequent. Some people are unaware that Facebook and other sites reveal the specific location from where you are posting on accounts, so check your privacy settings. You should turn off your location settings on social media and only make your posts visible to your friends, not to the public. Also avoid checking into places on social accounts while you are still at the place especially. It is important not to accept rides from strangers. My mother told me this probably a hundred times. I remember playing in front of our house alone one day and a strange man driving up and offering me candy. I ran in the house and told my mother. I probably would not be here today if I went to his car to get that candy. Once you get into a stranger's car, you are at their mercy. They could either incapacitate you with drugs or hold you hostage and you might not have an opportunity to defend yourself. When you notice a threat, try to attract the attention of other people. Whenever you notice any threat of kidnap, attract the attention of people around by screaming and shouting for help. Keep doing this until you notice that people have gathered around you and can come to your rescue. It is very important to fight like your life depends on it, because more than likely it does. You do not want to get into their vehicle because they are probably taking you to their kill zone. Have a buddy system if possible, try not to go places alone. Going places with someone else is better, because it makes you less of an easy target. And always park close to the door of a store or building and never park next to a van. There are predators among all of us. There are sex slave markets, as well as slave labor markets. And like I said earlier in this video, there is a back market for our body parts, our organs, and our melanin. Don't get it twisted, family, they are still eating us and drinking our blood. These wicked people are willing to pay millions of dollars to do it. So keep your head on a swivel, be safe, and share this with your family and friends, with all the people that are near and dear to you. All praises to the Most High, the Creator of the heavens and the earth. So I hope you found this video helpful if you did leave a like and a comment. And if it is your first time on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time. Thank you.